I thought I could get myself down there uh, uh, before it would transition. Anyways, hi, hello, I'm back. <laughs> ah. <laughs> let me let me shrink a little bit so that I'm not completely covering up chat. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. How are we all doing? It's been so long. Oh, I missed you all so much. <laughs> thank you for the dangas. Thank you. Thank you. I've missed you guys so much. My goodness. Uh, let me, let me, let me check if this works. Um. <laughs> Hello, has 500 days already passed? Okay, that does work. I just wanted to double check. Faye, oh my god, let me, let me, let me scroll up and say hi to everyone. Okay, congrats on being here early or rather, uh, on time. Um, yeah, I was having a bit of trouble. Uh but we managed to get everything done and I managed to get here somewhat on time. <laughs> Congrats on being the Eaters' driver. This is for you. <laughs> and thank you also for embracing the moonlight twitch of spades. Thank you for embracing the moonlight. Hello, hello, SF. <laughs> Long time no talk, huh? <laughs> uh, Avalon, hi, hi, hi. How you doing? Good to see you, Kiara, and thank you for the 12 months. Congrats on you on your new sub badge. And uh, oh no, what don't ha don't who are you me? Don't don't who are you me? Please. <laughs> I remember all of you. <laughs> Nano, hello, hello, how you doing? So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. If you guys haven't seen, uh, Asif and Forte and Jack and Bud came together to sing one of the best Grand Blue Fantasy songs. Do I have the, is it, is it on my YouTube front page or do I need to go looking for it? Because it was there earlier and then I listened to it and then it, it went away. It's not there. As of, can you post the link, <laughs> please? <laughs> can you post the link? Uh, who else do we have? Did I say hi to Nano? Hi, Nano. Uh, and thank you for embracing the moonlight. Welcome in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the the blue that makes my hair blue. Uh, it is mainly for grand blue fantasy streams. So yeah, that and Sonic streams. I'm I'm gonna be having it for Sonic streams. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Uh, I will not be making that a French video. No, no. The same way Aura does not like cat, uh, being called cute cat girl, I do not like being called French. But I know I cannot escape you guys doing it, so. <laughs> Frune is a generic brand here in Chile. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm learning Spanish at the moment. Enjoy. Spanish was. Uh, I, I didn't. I struggled with it more than French, so. We need Brazilian Lunar Deep. No, then I'm gonna get banned from uh, from Twitter. No, don't ban me. I know Chad wants to ban me. I already know that. Faye, thank you for embracing the moonlight. Welcome in. Uh, thank you all for the dangles. I appreciate it. Thank you for the applause. Faye, thank you for the 10 months. Hello, has 500 days already passed? I don't think so. You stream with you and grab with fancy helpline? How dare you? How how dare you? <laughs> also, congrats on your your common blade, Kiara. It was my one year was so uh, wasted from me message. It happens. To be fair, I feel like I also do it all for me messages. So, Karim, hello, how you doing? It's good to see you. <laughs> The top of my watch, my uh, watch history. I, 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 it was at the top of mine for a moment, but then I, I had to, I wanted to go through a bunch of other songs as well because uh, I, 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 I needed something to keep me going while I was suffering. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, I put in a scare request. Karam, <laughs> thank you for the fifty bits and Dante. Hello, hello. I miss you too. I missed all of you so 
so much and also hello hello to any lurkers hello hi <laughs> for those of you who are not aware where i have been i went to egypt i went to egypt uh probably won't say where at but it wasn't cairo uh for people who are gonna ask hey did you go see the pyramids i did not go see the pyramids uh it was more of a relax vacation i was yeah i was fighting dio aka my demons aka uh, a lot of stuff went wrong on vacation it's kind of insane hope it was a lovely time it was interesting okay it was interesting <laughs> so much stuff happened okay a lot of stuff happened um so how about i start from the very beginning uh which is the out when uh we were leaving so basically we had to get an uber uh well not an uber a ta whoop, a taxi to the train station so that we could go to the airport uh we were told the taxi was gonna arrive at uh half past uh and it arrived uh, 15 minutes later we we arrived not long before our train was meant to arrive so that was a bit nerve-wracking so already i had a bad feeling about this vacation <gasps> hello 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 how you doing hello hope you're doing well <laughs> so that went down um but we managed to get there we didn't miss our train it was a bit of a trek because uh there were no lifts for us to uh get to the platform so we had to lug uh six seven or so suitcases we had to carry no six suitcases we had to carry six suitcases five of which were the big ones <laughs> where's the car stay so glad you are back oh uh <laughs> I, I, I miss you too dancing thank you so much for coming in so we got to the train, we arrived on time, we got on the train, and we're chilling, okay? All is fine, all is well, we are chilling, okay? It wasn't like the luxury of luxury trains, it was just your standard train, right? So we go, we, 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 we are vibing, we get to the airport, we are early. <laughs> We are early and so our desk isn't open and the airport was um, having construction so it was... Uh, they didn't have anywhere to sit. So we were tired, it was like 9am, I wanted to sleep. <laughs> I had not had sleep at all. How many people were with you? 14. There were 14 of us going. <laughs> Gets hello, hello. Someone forgot to wear their wig today. Yep. What? Yes, yeah, so it was me uh, and my extended family. Uh, so me, my family, and extended family. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it was gonna be a very. You can tell it's gonna be a very chaotic vacation already, right? So we get there, we check in. When the desk finally opens. Um, all seems well, all seems well. We get to security, we all almost pass through security without a hitch until the bag with all the snacks gets uh, pulled aside. Who wants to guess what was in there? You brought the cousin's best friend's dog's brother's owner along. Exactly! Who wants to take a guess what ridiculous thing got pulled aside because of security? Hmm? <laughs> a human? Uh, mm, so shockingly not. Shockingly, like, none of us like had to do, like, extra person security. It was actually just one of our, uh, items. Salt and vinegar Pringles. No! It was a pack of Uno. Is it a flavor shaker thing, Jaffa Cakes? No. It was a pack of Uno. They checked our pack of Uno. <laughs> Needless to say, we were all a little bit annoyed that that happened. Uh, but we shook it off and we made our way 
over to, you know, duty free, relaxing, uh, we all sit down, that is a lie, uh, my family was spending so long in duty free and a bunch of us, we were like, we're tired. We don't want to deal with this. We are starving, right? Because we had all woken up really early. Thank you for the head pads. We had all wo woken up like super early. Um, and I was hungry. I was starving. I had not eaten in four hours. And I just wanted some lunch. At 10, 9, 10, 11? It might have been 11. It might have been 11 p uh, a.m. that I was like super hungry and I was like, I want lunch. But my mother had the lunch and uh, she was off somewhere. So I was kind of sat there suffering and waiting. And when she finally did arrive, I was like, Mama Moon, please give me the sandwich. She's like, no, 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 shut up. Wait till everyone else gets it. <laughs> Sorry, Arka. And I was like, give me the food, woman. I am starving. <laughs> Give me the food! And eventually, finally, everyone got there. I got to eat some food. Uh, it felt great. And then uh, I, w I was still very annoyed though that I had to wait. Um, everyone was still kind of going here and around, uh, duty free. And um, I had, I had a, a learning moment that day. So for those of you who do not know, I have to take um, injections every time I go on a flight because um, I have a condition that puts me at risk for pulmonary embolisms, which is uh, blood clots in my lung, which can give me a heart attack. So that's well. Um, so I had to go to the, yeah. <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom and you know, you know, just uh, do the do the injection, um, and there I had the learning moment of the needles retract. Uh, it kind of jump scared me. Not gonna lie, because you know I'm just there, like uh, the injection in my stomach, right? It goes it goes in my stomach. Um, and then I press it all the way down because I guess I wasn't doing it all the way. And I press it, and I get to the very end, and then poof, needle goes inside. I was like, <laughs> it kind of scared me. I can't lie. May, hello, lovey. It's good to see you. Hello, hello. Missed you too. <laughs> Monka, Monka, indeed. <laughs> Thank you for the head pads, Avalon. I'm tearing up. I not gonna lie. I I guess it was the nerves or the feelings of having not uh, streamed for so long. I I actually started getting a little bit sick before stream. I cannot lie. I hmm. It did not feel good. <laughs> Last time I got a needle was like four years ago. Or something of Corona. Oh, I feel that loon. Taking medication is necessary, especially when I get a heart attack. Fuck you, Essa. How dare you? How how dare you? Okay, let me let me also hydrate. Also, I just remembered that was a puzzle that I was meant to do. So how about uh, I'm gonna go over to the gaming screen so that we can actually work on that as well. Uh, I have that opened up. You guys are gonna love it. <laughs> Look, it gives you something to do while you listen to me yap. Uh, over to here. So that's copied over here. Okay. Why? What are you seeing? What what are you capturing? Is it I actually don't know what it's capturing right now. I cannot lie. Um What? Oh, why is it that? Hmm. Thank you. Uh, okay, which one is the puzzle? Which one is the puzzle? It's one of the Firefox windows. Manage? No, that's Twitch. That's, uh... Hold on, bear with me. I'll, I'll get this eventually. There we go. Okay, perfect. Here is the link to the puzzle. 
And where's the BGM? Where's the BGM? There we go. Okay. There's a link to the puzzle. Puzzle away. I'll continue on yapping. <laughs> So, uh, what basically, uh, well, where, where was I? We were at the airport, food, injection. Right, so, we get, um, we get, uh, get on the plane, everything is fine, until they have us sitting on the runway for a while. It was kind of concerning. It was, it was very concerning uh, because we did have, you know, a layover. We did have a connecting flight that we had to get. So the fact that it was taking us a while was definitely concerning. <laughs> Why do carpenters make terrible comedians? Because their jokes wouldn't work with non-carpenter audience. <laughs> Hi, Mango. How you doing? It's good to see you. <laughs> um... So yeah, we we managed to get through uh, onto the plane, and eventually we did take off. Now, this was going to be a four or so hour flight, and we were on not the most um, comfortable of planes. I cannot lie; it was incredibly uh, uncomfortable, and I was very sleep deprived and I was sat next to my my cousin and my sister and my sister is incredibly fidgety so every time I almost fell asleep she would wake me up by moving around a bunch uh, not pleasant not not pleasant at all <laughs> I cannot lie it was yeah it was it was horrible but um, eventually I gave up trying to sleep and I think I did some draw I honestly being on the plane was like a massive trance I I barely remember what happened not gonna lie <laughs> um yeah, eventually you know we have a layover in Istanbul and um this is where I realize oh Things are going to get bad. So, we didn't have much time to eat. We had to rush to get to where our gate was. Um, and everyone ended up being kind of scattered uh, all around the airport, but we were able to eventually, you know, meet up. And the really, really sucky thing about Turkish airports is they only, this. it's not even like really just Turkey. I know it's a bunch of, um, non-European, non-American uh, airports, you don't get, you know, free Wi-Fi and all that. You get uh, limited Wi-Fi for 15 to 30 minutes. And in an age where, you know, a bunch of stuff is digital and, you know, requires connection to the internet, that's not really ideal. Uh, so that was fun. Um, I what I basically did was I got myself the internet and then I bought myself some data because um, I was smart and got myself an eSIM for Egypt. But I also got a bit for, for Turkey as well because I something didn't sit right with me. I something did not feel right. I felt like I was gonna need more data. I, when it comes to, you know, things that are about to go really wrong, I have this weird sixth sense for that. And oh boy, <laughs> did things go wrong. So, um, I get my, I get my internet and all that, I head down to, or rather the whole family heads down to the gate. And they have us, you know, passing through, checking our boarding passes. Um, so me and my little sister, um, we get to the front, we go over, um, we go over there and they scan our boarding passes. It gives like a, the incorrect, like, you know, when they scan it, they scan it again. At this point, I get a little bit nervous. I, I get very nervous. 
um, we check, uh, they say, oh, this is the wrong flight. What? They scan, they had already scanned some of my family's um, boarding passes and they had already gotten, like, they had gotten access. But me and my 10 year old sister were apparently on another flight. Um, separate from the rest of my family. So at this point, my entire family is very terrified. Uh, we check everyone else's boarding passes. And one, of, two of my other cousins, one of which is like two years younger than me, the other, her sister is the same age as my sister, um, they were also not on this flight, they were on the next one with me. We checked what ha what may have happened. What the? Where, where, the, where the heck was that? I heard the sound. I'm sorry, Kieran, I don't know what happened there. Um, so, yeah, my family checked what happened. It was apparently because the way... Um, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me redeem you a free one. <laughs> All we know is that it was a common. Um. Where? <sighs> Made HD too strong to do a puzzle? No worries, me. No worries. Don't worry about it. Okay? Don't worry about it. So, uh, there we are. Currently... Uh, trying to figure out what to happen, uh, what to do, because the way it was booked is that the entire family was booked together, minus the three of us, the four of us. The four of us were for some reason booked separately, and thus we were booked on a different flight, an hour, um, like apart. Uh, okay, there's there's your there's your free redeem, Kian. That's that's definitely what you got. <laughs> So we, my family were like ready to, you know, fight the airline. But the thing is, the airline's kind of, you know, rigid. They're like, listen, if you do not accept this, you're not going to be able to fly. So eventually my family give in and they're like, okay, you know what? Sure. Um, they're all kind of like girls take care of each other, hold the little ones' as hands, don't leave them alone, keep us updated. So this is where my data really came in handy because for the next hour that my family had like le uh, had, had been forced to leave us, they were calling us like every 10 minutes for an update asking what's happening, what's happening, what's happening. Um... So, yeah, at first, very terrifying. Not fun at all. But we survived. We got out of there. Also, Yeti! Yeti, hi! Hello, how you doing? Is that the Luna? I spot. Welcome back. Thank you for embracing the moonlight. <laughs> yeah, it was it was very terrifying. Because, you know, it's four... It's four girls. And... Um... While it could have been a lot worse, this was already kind of bad, and especially when both our families are pretty, pretty overprotective. But we were able to get on the next plane. It was an hour after theirs. Um, all the flights kind of did get a bit delayed, though. But we were able to make it um, to uh, Egypt um, without too much of a hitch. Um, uh, my my cousin had a spare seat next to her and so um we kind of went like two and two on who gets what seat so one of the little ones slept uh, on the spare seat the other one slept on her seat uh it was it was nice it was nice and i don't remember if i did sleep i think i was a bit too Oh. Actually, no, I remember. I didn't sleep because the stench of my cousin's sock was keeping me up. Because she was like, kind of, you know, her head was uh, on the empty seat and her foot was on me. So all I could smell was her socks. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. 
sleep. <laughs> also, my parents took the neck pillows with them, which kind of sucked. Uh, <laughs> it was stinky indeed. <laughs> but I was able to get out of it. Um, and we we managed to land in Egypt without too uh, too much. Uh, I couldn't get my dates to work, so I couldn't tell my family that, oh, hey, we have landed. But it's fine, because neither of them could also get their dates to work, because none of us had realized we needed internet to get the date, to, to, to get the ESIM to activate. <laughs> thank you for the luck, Yeti. Thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, that, uh, that had happened. We get to immigration, and... The thing is, okay, so basically what happened is we had to buy visas uh, when we had landed. We, we had to buy visas. And uh, because my family had already been there, um, they were, you know, basically at the front of the queue. Except for my dad and my cousin's dad, because they had to get out of the queue to buy our visas. And then they could take us back to the front of the queue where the entire rest of the family was. Now, this, um... This was not very well liked by everyone else who was also in the queue. They ended up kind of trying to push out, uh, my family out of the queue even though they had all been waiting there, fair and square. It was simply just, you know, the two little ones, me and my cousin, who were technically getting in because we are all one connected family and, you know, all the travel documents are with the grown-ups who we kind of need to be with. So everyone, they basically, everyone, they looked like they wanted us dead. <laughs> Is, is it French Luna? No. <laughs> um, yeah, e e everyone kind of wanted it. Everyone was like glaring daggers at us. It was kind of nuts. Uh, I felt deeply uncomfortable. People were definitely talking uh, behind our backs and in f and to our faces. Um, luckily, one guy was a bit more chill and he was like a bit more understanding about the whole situation. Um, but with all that happening, we managed to get through secure, uh, not security, border control. We got to border control, we managed to get our suitcases, and then we stepped out, out of the airport, and we finally had made it to Egypt. God, it was hell just to get there in the first place, but we did it. <laughs> and then it only gets better from there, oh boy. <laughs> I wish I, I did have like all the pictures ready to show you guys, but I was I've been so wiped since I got here. Um, I don't know when my energy is gonna kind of replenish. You know, I'm I'm waiting for it. It's not happened yet. I have slept like ten hours, probably, the the past two nights, and it's still not enough. <laughs> I'm really tired, guys. I'm really tired. <laughs> so, um. We get our taxi, we start heading to the airport, and you know, one good thing about this, not the airport, the hotel, one good thing about this drive was there was a super moon. Um, there, there was a really big super moon that you could see, and I, you rarely get to see them, but I guess something was happening in the skies where you could actually see it. I was so, so happy. Oh my goodness, it was beautiful. Um, I got pictures of it, for sure. Um, it, we, it actually happened for like four or four, five days while we, th we were there. We had a super moon for like five days or four days, something like that. It was, was kind of nothing. The head pads, uh, spades, I appreciate it. Um, so we get to the hotel, right? It was, it was a nice drive. We get to the hotel and then this is where um, we thought it was going to be fine. Um, no. <laughs> no. Um, we get there. We get um, our rooms. They start taking us to our rooms. And I can only describe the feeling that I felt 
when we walked in. Okay, so to preface this, we were told that these are like amazing five star level rooms, right? When I walked in, um, I could only feel dread and a deep disappointment and depression. <laughs> I felt so upset when I walked in that room. So I wish I had gone pictures of it so I could show you. But um, we were told there was a pool view. We got plants. We got a plant view and our neighbors view. We could we could see our neighbors. We could see the plants. We did not get a pool view. Um, the room itself I can only describe as being on the same level as my grandparents' home, and they live in a third world country in a village. <laughs> so, so, um, I, the, we, we, we had lampshades, the lampshades were kind of falling apart, uh, that was fun, um, we had stains on the bed, we had dirt on the floor, we had rubbish outside our rooms, and we had one, no, two, plug sockets in the room. One was for the mini fridge. The other was for the internet. In fact, what did Luna, Luna yap about this time? Everything that went wrong while on vacation. That's what. So, yeah. Um, I know, you know, I don't want to be like, you know, oh, technology is so important, but you know, I there is three of us staying in this room. And there are two plugs. And I came there with my phone, and my watch, and my iPad, and my laptop so that I can, you know, get work done because what is a vacation? Um, yeah, I brought all those with me. And... <laughs> we had two plugs in the room. Three if you count the one in the bathroom. Four if you count the one that had the TV. Uh, and everyone else's, uh, we had one that didn't have working AC, which was kind of bad because it was 40 degrees Celsius, which is about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um... <laughs> it was so bad. Um, uh, so, you know, we went to reception and we complained and we complained and we complained until they let us check out what the other rooms are like actually see what the you know the good rooms are and we kind of we you know while the family was sorting that out I just went to sleep I had been awake for a long time I just wanted to I just wanted to sleep <laughs> Jesus hello hello how were the pyramids and camels I did not see pyramids I did see camels the camels were poor oh, I'll get to that also, hi Loon, welcome back to Streamy. Thank you and congrats again on your debut. Guys, if you do not know Jazz's, please, please, please check them out. They are my latest VTuber child. I posted uh, the showcase the other day. Please check them out. Uh, where is my, is that button working? Does the shout out button work? Let's find out together. <laughs> oh my God, it does. There we go. Check out Jazz's. They have very good taste in games. <laughs> And they also like Xenoblade. We love Xenoblade. <laughs> so, um, we managed to survive uh, the mess that was the room. Um, I honestly don't remember how room change day actually went. Um, oh, there were mosquitoes in our room. That was awful. Uh, there were mosquitoes. We were. Uh, we were just kind of chilling, like, while the, um, while, you know, all the adults were looking at new rooms. Uh, me and all my cousins, we all kind of found out that, hey, this place has bikes. Like, it's a qu quadrupedal bike or something like that. I think that's what SF called it. Um, it was, it was fun. 
I nearly lost my phone. My phone fell out of my pocket uh, while we were cycling. But we went back and I was like, oh, hey, that's my phone. Uh, uh-oh. So I went back, grabbed it. It wasn't broken, thankfully. <laughs> so, uh, neither lost my phone. That was great. Okay, as usual, I just been out. It was nice seeing you again, Luna. Have a good one, Luna, chat, and see you around. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for keeping by, Yeti. I appreciate it. Having Yeti spaghetti. Ooh, enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. So... <laughs> We're there in like 40 degree weather, f trying to have fun despite the situation. Um, cycling was poor, and especially because I was still in my um, UK clothes, which were not built for the heat. Um, it was, you know, tracksuit, pants, and a t-shirt, and I was still sweating. <laughs> it was it was bad, it was really, really bad. Um, but yeah, went back to the room, chilled there, I did not want to leave, uh, and eventually, um, the adults came round. Actually, no, 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 we, we went for lunch, came back, they finally sorted out our rooms, we got new rooms, we got new rooms, we got moved to newer rooms, okay, is what they told us, is we were in the old rooms, we were moved to the newer rooms and the newer rooms were amazing okay they were huge they had ac they had a pool view as we were advertised they had space they didn't have dirt everywhere and it actually felt like a hotel room rather than whatever it was that we were just staying in okay it felt great i felt great wahoo <laughs> Enough pods? Oh, there were plenty. They had, so on the, we had, um, on the side that I was sleeping, we had a universal plug socket and then two USB, um, ports. Uh, on the other side, there was a EU. Um, it was an EU plug socket. And then the other side, there was another EU plug socket. There was another one on the other side of the room and there was two universal plugs in the bathroom. How is the crappy hotel room owned by the same establishment? I don't know, but it definitely did not feel like the same place. Kirk, hello, 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 how you doing? It's good to see you, I missed you too. Thank you for embracing the moonlight. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> so yeah, the new room was amazing. We had um, one double bed, two single beds. It was great. I loved it. It was nice. We also had a mini fridge. That was also great. Still no chair. That was kind of disappointing, you know, no chair to sit on, um, and, you know, do our makeup. Thank you for the hydrate, Kieran. I need that. <laughs> also, puzzle in the pin, just as a reminder if you want to join in. So, uh, we end up getting, um, to the room, we relax, we chill, we get some food. This whole mess was finally over, um, kinda ish. My mum kind of wanted to switch rooms still, even though the rooms that we were given were amazing. And if you tried to go like any different, it would it's Icarus basically. You know, you fly too close to the sun, you're gonna get burned. You try to get a better room, you're gonna get something worse. Um, so we were able to settle on the room that we had. It was very, very nice. I loved it. Um, so then it starts to, you know, calm down there-ish. <laughs> it's a big asterisk there. So this hotel that we were staying at, it had, um, so many things happening, okay? So we had a theme park. We had, um... Uh, a water park, we had roller skating, we had pool parties like regularly, there was a VR area, there was a PlayStation area, there was a many many drinks bars, there was several restaurants, it was kind of nuts at how much there was in the way of food. Um, honestly kind of impressive. <laughs> uh, it was it was interesting, it was interesting. There was a bunch to do and the thing is though, I'm not really a uh, for swimming. I do not like, you know, wet hair and all that. I really did not like it uh, at all. So I ended up kind of mostly staying in the room. And also, I'm really bad with heat. I'm not good with heat at all. Um, 
So what I ended up doing is in the, you know, I'd wake up for breakfast, I would go um, to, I would go for breakfast, come back to the room, nap a little bit, uh, go for lunch and head to one of like the indoor activities or head back to my room to get some work done. <laughs> Um, so, how was the sand? Was it coarse? Rough? Must have been everywhere. <laughs> oh, I'll get to that. I will get to that. Um, so, uh, I got to do a little bit of relaxing in the room. Um, and here we get to injury number one of the vacation. Maybe it was number two. I feel like I got injured somewhere at the start. Injury number one. Um, we were on the bump cars. These bump cars are not your average bump cars. These ones were powerful. These ones, when you hit, you went flying, okay? And these bump cars had belts. These belts were... They were a danger, not gonna lie. They were a danger to the person. I... I hate puzzles, why are you making some like this? <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry. To be fair, I probably did do a little too many pieces. Maybe I should have gone with like 600. Listen, I needed to pad out the stream somehow. <laughs> um, so, I... Uh, we went on these bump cars. We had very, very, very powerful bumper cars. Um, and... How powerful? Well, my sister managed to get a pretty nasty injury, okay? So, the seatbelts, they should have said that we do not recommend you wear these seatbelts. Because from wearing it, um, my sister got a really, really nasty bruise on her neck. Like, it was, it, it, it looked like she had been in a car accident. It was, it was that bad. <laughs> not good at all. Um... So then we, were, we the entire family had to basically come to the consensus that hey let's uh let's not wear the seatbelts anymore. It's it's pretty bad and I yeah the cuz the whiplash is insane and there's certain cars that are faster than the rest and also pack more of a punch than the rest. So we had to be really careful about what we did. So, uh, <laughs> But we were able to get through it. We were able to have some fun on the bump cars, and there was the point of the seatbelts. I, they, they came with the car. <laughs> they came with the car. Everything I'm hearing sounds like way went as a scam or a front for Dio. So the thing is, it wasn't really all the, the the initial rooms that we had were a scam, but we got upgraded to something that was more like what we were advertised. There were the water park was insane. Like it it was it was actually insane. There was. So so many slides, so many like water rides, and even like the, the mini theme park that they had, also really, really fun. Um, I actually went on some of the rides myself, and yeah, I had fun. Um, we did a bunch of stuff. We did, oh god, let me... <laughs> uh, we did like a, a massive amount of stuff. Hold on a second. I think I just realized something. The bot didn't ping the Discord server. <laughs> hold on. Uh, uh, hold on. How? Why? Hold on. Why? Did I stream call, please? Uh. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it didn't go. I'm a sucker for water parks. Any cool water slides? There was, there was one of those drop, uh, those drop slides. You know where you're like leaning back and then it it drops you. Uh, yeah, that was that was that was fun. Um, I didn't go on that, but I know that everyone else who went on it had fun. There was like a bunch of spiral slides. There was, um, that's that's a lot. Okay, there was genuinely like so many that they actually had to have timings on them. Um, yeah. <laughs> I didn't go on them, but, um, what did I do? I, I barely, right, so, um, because the internet in the hotel was kinda ass, I cannot lie, um, I did, 
end up taking on uh, commissions during this time. Um, I, I took up commissions because uh, I had to pay for the eSIM that I was using and it was pretty pretty uh, expensive a little bit but I, I, I was expecting like a handful like just a, a handful of people maybe three people who were interested but no i i was kind of surprised so many people were were interested in the little sketch style commissions that i did honestly thank you everyone so so much it really does mean the world thank you <laughs> oh my god i'm, I'm really happy Oh yeah, also when we got to the new room, my hairbrush broke. Oh my goodness, that was that was fun. <laughs> let me let me um copy link. Um it was hold on, let me let me hide this a sec. Window capture hide. There that um there we go. That's what happened to my hairbrush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, Alec. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, that happened to my hairbrush while we were moving rooms. That was great. Uh, not really. Hi, how you doing? I missed you too, even if you are over ass. <laughs> so I was on Discord or Twitter. Yeah, it was. It was. It was in the Discord. It broke. That was not fun. Um, <laughs> we still don't know how it happened. I, I'm not an ass. I'm the entire baby. Mm, mm, yeah, sure. Uh, what even did? Oh, right. So in the VR section, right? I I mentioned briefly. There's a VR section in the hotel. In the VR section, they had this machine okay if you google vr 360 machine you'll see what i mean uh it's a machine that well by the name you can guess it flips you in 360 degrees while you are in vr and i got to go on it <laughs> i am terrified of Roller coaster because the thing is, what it would do is it would boot up roller coaster simulator and simulate you as being in the roller coaster. Um, and I am terrified of roller coasters, but I took my chance with this. The first time I went on it, I only did uh, 180 degrees. The second time I went on it, I tried the full 360. No, 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 second time I also did um, uh, 180. The third time. I went on it. I went 360. And it was kind of nuts. <laughs> I had to run because hell is about to rain and apparently it's- Oh, run. Oh god, please, please run. It was nice to see you alive and well. Take care, Luna. Love you. Love you too, Alec. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. Um... <laughs> so, the VR was really fun. They also had this um, other VR machine where... Like, you were strapped in, it would go up and down. Uh, there was air hockey, which I discovered I'm really, really bad at. And they had this bungee um, machine, that, this bungee basket, essentially. Uh, that was kind of okay. <laughs> it was okay. It was, yeah. The, the 360 machine cannot be beat. I also discovered, um, wow, I really do like... Uh, ice caramel coffees. Um, they they had a bunch of them at the hotel, and it was delicious. Uh, man, it was nice. I loved it. Um, okay, what what else happened? Uh, what did I do? So, I went roller skating the first time ever. Um, I have done quote-unquote roller skating before um, it, it was interesting uh, the, the first time I, I stood up uh, I started going backwards I started going forwards a little bit and then I started going backwards <laughs> not very ideal 
ideal. Not ideal at all. So what part of Egypt was it? You might convince me to go. It was Haggadah. It was the coastal area, Haggadah, where you get to just go to all the beaches and all that. Yeah. Um. This world skating, but yeah, yeah. Luckily, they were nice enough that um. <laughs> my cousin, my my little cousin, um, he helped like roll me out of the place uh, and got me to the rink, luckily. Um, and then I tried roller skating with the frames, uh, like the, the sport frames that they have. And it turns out I am actually really good at it. <laughs> I was I was actually like really really good uh, when I when I had like the sport frame, so I did it a couple times. Uh, I did it once with the frame. I went again and did it with the frame. I think the third time, I started with the frame, and then I stopped using it midway through. And it turns out I actually kind of had it kind of down pat, um, though I was struggling here and there because um, the floor wasn't completely smooth. They, it was like jigsaw piece floor. And as a result, um, I kept hitting like little bumps here and there, which wasn't really ideal, kind of sucked. Pajamas, hello, hello, how are you doing? It's good to see you, hi. So, uh, yeah, I didn't fall, uh, apart from one time where I completely fell forward when I was trying to make my way to the rink and my parents weren't there to help me, and uh, that was fun. And the final time that we went uh, roller skating, I did it without the frame, 100%. It took me a moment to fully get acquainted to it, but I was able to do it without the frame, and I felt so, so strong <laughs> it felt great it 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 felt amazing uh enough for now gonna be helping my dad uh move a gun safe here shortly he's getting along in earlier so i'll be helping him move some heavier stuff today ah well good on you <laughs> i hope that all goes well for you um okay so roller skating the rides, the theme park, the rides. So, uh, there was like a lot of rides in there. One of them was um, a pirate ship. Um, you know, the ones that, you know, they swing forward and they swing back. Um, the pirate ship was an interesting one. Uh, not, uh, gonna lie um i okay so the thing is i thought that i was scared of um thrill rides it turns out i'm not scared of thrill rides thrill rides physically hurt me okay so you know um you know when we were sat on the very end so we got the like full brunt of like the the swinging forwards and backwards the going from very high to all the way down right it hurt it actually like physically hurt my stomach whenever we did that and i couldn't even really enjoy the ride otherwise i i had fun i did not mind the the heights the swinging but it physically hurt me to be on them otherwise i i was fine with it it's kind of interesting i never thought that would ever be the case but yeah um there was this other ride um it was one of those you know droppy ones where everyone is sat uh in the seats and it's like a pillar that takes you up to the heights and then drops you it was one of those except it spun um well <laughs> It spun, and luckily the drops weren't like violent. It was only very, very slight drops. This was like closer to a baby, baby's ride. Um, 
it was fine. <laughs> but yeah, normally I am not one for uh, for, for, for rides like that. Drop towers are rough for me, yeah. Yeah, I can honestly see why. I'm also not a fan of like the thrill rides, the big rides. I am not one for that. <laughs> it's really unpleasant. So, ugh, I'm glad I found my people who cannot deal with these thrill rides. Um, there was also a bunch of others that I did not um, really touch on because, you know, I'm kind of a baby and bad with rides. <laughs> I'm not good at these rides, man. I'm, I'm, I've, I've, it doesn't help that I'm, you know, bad with heights. Like, I, I have a fear of heights. It's, whoa. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll eventually go over it one day. <laughs> one day. Probably not. Um, I did one time get forced on a roller coaster and then they were, they actually went fine and then I'm scared of roller coasters again. <laughs> um, but what else went down, uh, in the hotel? The food. The food was interesting. So they tried their best to be culturally, like, they tried their best to adapt to everyone. But <laughs> breakfast was the best meal. All I can say is breakfast was an amazing meal. They had an omelette station, which was amazing. I loved it. It was delicious. Um, they also had some good cereal choice. The milk wasn't like super cold like I liked it, but I kind of learned to deal with that. Um, I ended up having breakfast for most of my meal. Uh, uh, what? Cereal for most of my breakfasts. Um, and... Yeah, you know, what about you guys? Are you guys big breakfast people? Um, because, yeah, I did not like having to wake up at like 9am, walk all the way to where, they, where it is. Not a lot of good Egyptian- There was not Egyptian food. Uh, this was very, very western um ish food i cannot lie uh, uh i wasn't really a fan i work overnight i get breakfast every day after work ah i'm a big guy and eat breakfast so yes ah, okay i normally only have you know a cup of tea and two slices of toast that is the most i eat but here i was having two croissants uh, a little bowl of cereal and um and an omelette. And that is the most I've had for a breakfast. It was a lot and I was almost sick on one of the days and then I had to tone down how much I have. Only I eat a lot of food for lunch. Ah, okay. So, uh, from there I ended up, uh, the, the, the lunch food I would eat very light. Uh, sometimes I would have some pasta because they had like a pasta station and spaghetti station. I would get some pasta with cheese sauce and a bit of chicken. It was okay. It was passable. It could use a little salt. I cannot lie. Um, and for dinner, they had steak. The steak was... <laughs> it was well done. It was tough. It was pain. <laughs> It was actual pain. Like, I'm normally... I I see why people don't like well done. What do you put in your omelette? I always put bacon, onion, mushroom, and spinach. I just had a, a cheese a cheese omelette. Oof, well done, Stikipi, my favorite. I love jerky. The thing is, like, some of this... It wasn't even, like, tough. It was unbreakable. Like, you... I felt like I was gonna break a tooth trying to rip into the steak. And I'm one who normally does, like, slight, like medium well well done steak but this it felt closer to congratulations i i was not a fan <laughs> um and it, it was also just kind of bland i cannot because they didn't have you know like steak sauce they didn't have the peppercorn or anything they didn't have any of that there was no seasoning there was no seasoning what was i gonna eat it with you know i i didn't really like it at all <laughs> Um, so I kind of ended up opting to just, uh, 
Uh, I, I loaded upon fries. If you're going to do well, then you got to at least season it. But that's the thing, they didn't season it, and I'm so mad. They didn't season it, man. <laughs> so, that happened. But at least when it came to lunchtime, no, not lunchtime, dinner time, there was cats. Okay, one thing I didn't know about Egypt is that there's a lot of cats. Um, a surprising amount. It was, it was kind of cool. I loved it. Um. Ooh. Oh, we have a face. Let me, let me zoom in a little bit. So, the, there was a lot of cats there, and while I was having my dinner, uh, <laughs> there was some air, uh, a lot of areas you could eat in, in the restaurant, and one of them, there was a cat, uh, one cat in particular that was very, 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 very needy and beggy for attention. <laughs> And beg you for food. Actually, it didn't want attention, it just wanted food. It would sit there and meow at you until you gave it some food. And I actually have a video of this. It's it's over on um, the Discord of the cat just meowing at me. It was it was so cute. It was adorable. The cat was adorable. <laughs> um, it was it was definitely very, very cute. I I I enjoyed that cat very much. Um so the cats kind of made it very um, dealable. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go take a quick be right back because shopping has arrived and I need to go help with that. I knew it was gonna happen and I, I'm glad I didn't push stream back until I arrived because my goodness I would not be able to get through everything if that was the case. So I'm gonna do a quick be right back um, and I'll be back in about five or so minutes depending on how long it takes, depending on if people actually want to help me. Um, feel free to keep on puzzling, feel free to keep on puzzling, having some fun. Uh, yeah, and enjoy the Be Right Bang screen. I don't know what it is right now, and I hope it's not the whole night one because that keeps getting copyright claimed. Okay, I'll also be running some ads. Hey, right, be right back.
Hello, I'm back and I'm out of breath. <laughs> Managed to get the shopping done fast, thankfully. Hi! Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, and I lost track of what I was talking Maybe I should start writing down what it was that I'm yapping about before I leave, but granted, I was being summoned. <laughs> I'm back, thank you. Also, welcome in, Necromancer. <laughs> So, um, right, the food, the cats, uh, I think that's all there is to talk about, about the, oh, no, right, so at the hotel, there was this show, uh, we'll call it. It was meant to be like, you know, this big thing of showing off, you know, all these, uh, cool people and, and their talents and their singing. <laughs> They started off with one lady uh, with the flute and some guy on the guitar and I had this really- I don't know why, but I was like brain rotting really really badly. So- oh. Oh, can I- can I lock that in place? I don't know how to lock that. Oh. Right. Hmm. It doesn't tell me. Never mind. So, I was trapped. Uh, I what? I I yeah. I was trapped in the brain rot, and every time she started, you know, starting up a song, for some reason I was expecting her to start playing um, uh, Bezos by Bo Burnham. <laughs> I don't know why. But I kept expecting that. And I think that's the effect of um, me not really having access to YouTube or my playlist for like an extended amount of time. <laughs> so the brain rot was bad. It was it was really bad. <laughs> oh I I see a piece here. Let me just do that. Um my bad thing went nah, you're good, you're good. It happens. Um, see, so I want to drop Exactly, I kept expecting that, and I don't know why I was disappointed every time it didn't happen. Because I don't know why I did expect it to happen. Uh, but it didn't. Uh, so, yeah, we kind of walked out after a bit. The food wasn't really all that good. And because of that, we ended up missing out on this massive party that was happening on the other side of the hotel area, where they had chocolate fountains, they had dancers, they had a pool party, which luckily my family did not miss, but no one had their swimming costumes, so we just jumped in- well, we, uh, they just jumped in with their clothes. I did not jump in because I'm not insane. <laughs> That's questionable. I'm not completely insane. <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, hmm. Something like that. <laughs> uh, I I went back to my room. It was it was kind of boring. And this it was basically like they had a little music thing for kids. And the music. I, I took psychic damage listening to the music because they had a variety of things from um, it, it was very TikTok centric I'll say it was very very TikTok centric and I hated it so much okay um, one of the songs, so you guys know Me Me Me, right? You know Me Me Me? No. It, it was the Me 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 dance. Um, uh, that, uh, Zero Two... The, the one that they... Not the Dalco song. Um, it was... You know the, you know that one song where everyone had like, um, Zero Two doing the Mimi me dance to that one song with the like the hip sway type meme you know 
you know what song I'm on about. It's not the, it's not me, 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 but it's the dance that she does uh, to that one song that was going around um, TikTok. So this is like well after me, me, me. Uh, I think I know what song you're talking about. Yeah, okay, because I don't know the name. Um, they had that playing, and me and my internet brain rot. Um, I couldn't separate it from what I, uh, you know, did know of the internet. So it kind of made it a little bit painful. <laughs> I cannot lie, it was very painful. I did not like it. I, I felt a little bit uncomfortable <laughs> with it being played when, you know, there's a bunch of kids and everything around. Though granted, they probably were not expecting it to have come from that, so... <laughs> you know? It was interesting. Um, and also they started playing Baby Shark. Um, they started playing um, Pe Pedro. That was... That was a lot of like brain rot in there and i like pedro wasn't brain rot pedro was based everything else though was brain rot and i wanted to leave <laughs> so i did leave i left and i went back to my room and i relaxed never again though never again i i hate what the internet has done to me because um It's, it's, it's kind of made things very unfortunate, you know? My, my, my brain is very rotted. When it was busting it down on the dance floor, no, I would sooner perish. <laughs> I would sooner perish and let that happen. So that was like everything that went down at the hotel, really. But, you know, outside of all that, we did do a variety of other things, right? We, we we went here and there, we went around. One of the first things that we did was shopping. <laughs> My family, well, I were given this address and um, they were told, yeah, just go here, see uh, what there is here, maybe you'll like it. Um, I said, if this is shopping, I am not going. <laughs> Hi, thank you, Kirk. Thank you. Let me do settings. Um, where is it? There? There we go. <laughs> so, uh, I was, I was, I was deep suffering. Um, on the, because for some reason my family was like, yeah, let's walk it. Let's. What? Why can I not move? Why is this piece locked? Hello? Why is this piece locked? How do you unlock that piece? Can someone, can someone help me unlock that piece? How do I unlock a piece? Uh, let me unlock all pieces. There we go. Okay, fixed it. Fixed it, fixed it. Perfect. I wonder how I actually do lock a piece. That would... Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, I'm getting distracted. Um, so, we walked our way from the hotel to the... I wasn't told until we got there. It was bizarre. But the streets weren't very well lit. On the way, we did see a camel. We, we, we did see a camel, but it was not very well lit. So as we were making our way there, I uh, slipped on a bit of loose brick. Uh, and I injured my foot. Uh, not too badly, luckily, but it definitely hurt a lot. Um, it, it really hurt a lot. The <laughs> Jesus, thank you. <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it very much hurt. I 
wanted to go back to my room right there and there, but I was not going to be allowed. So I kind of toughed it out and uh, stuck around to see, hey, what's going to happen? Hopefully it's something nice. Uh, it didn't get any better. We went there and it was all not good stuff, really. It was... Uh, I did not want to be there. None of the stuff there was really all that worth. Oh, got a solid piece. <laughs> Thank you for the head pats. Um, Thank you for the lurk as well. <laughs> mm, I'm, I'm, I, I, after that, I did not go places that I did not know every single detail on. Um, so, what we ended up doing... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, what ended up happening was... Um, Oh, change plans, my father got called in for some work. I'll be moving that safe another day. Let's go! You are safe. Tee hee. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> uh, I lost my train of thought. Um. Right, injured my foot, managed to get away. Uh, the, 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 the stuff there was a scam. We saw a camel, we went back, and I was moody in my room after that. <laughs> we, just, we just kind of vibed. We just, uh, I vibed. I went back to work on commission. I was like, this is the biggest waste of time I've ever had to deal with. <laughs> never again. Ne never again. Never again. Never again. Uh, so that was like one of the biggest things. I was like, I'm so mad that even happened. <laughs> Um, the next outing, I think, was a major one, uh, if I remember correctly. So, I'm trying to think. What, I feel like there was something... Hold on, let me check the Discord, because I, I, um, I posted about stuff there. Um... Because there was the... I went to... Right, yes. I went to the desert. No. I went to an island. That's what I was thinking of. I went to an island. Um, it's called Orange Bay. And... Uh, it's... It's just a beach. It's... It's, it's a... It's a cool-ish beach. Uh... I kind of just vibed there. I didn't step in the water. The I'm not a person who gets seasick. But I thought I was going to get seasick. <laughs> it was kind of unpleasant, I cannot lie. Uh <laughs> I, I I actually thought I was gonna get seasick because the 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 the, the waves were very violent. They were not they were not agreeing with us. I, and at some point, um, the, I guess, captain, he let my, 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 my family drive the boat. And I felt my heart sink. I was like, I'm gonna die. It's over for me. I'm never gonna get to stream again. I'm not even gonna get, let. I'm, I'm in the middle of nowhere and I can't tell my chat goodbye. <laughs> But no, all was fine. I said, I imagine Pruitt not ruling the waves as a mage. Listen, I'm an immigrant. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Simple as, I cannot. Where the heck does this piece go? Go and happen, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, man, some of these pieces, even I don't know where they go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Did anyone fall off the boat? Shockingly, no. So we went to Orange Bay, my family ch uh, relaxed, there was a cat there. The cat wouldn't come near me for some reason. Uh, but we went to everyone else. Uh, the cat did not like me. Um, so I kind of just uh, relaxed on the beach. Um, and then we started heading back. And then uh, they were like, hey, we're gonna do some snorkeling. 
uh, I, I didn't have my sewing costume, so I didn't go. But uh, everyone else did. And we got to actually see, you know, like school of fishes swimming around us. We got to throw a bit of like food into the ocean and they would come up like going for it. It was, it was, it was great. Uh, it was it was really interesting. I loved it. Uh, I did get a bit splashed, but luckily because of the heat, um, I actually kind of went away pretty fast. Oh, that's what that piece is. Oh. Did you get any fishing done? Uh, no, we didn't do any fishing. You're not allowed to fish in the waters. It's kind of interesting because the I think like the waters are protected or something. So, you're not allowed to do any fishing there. Hmm. Yeah. Bet ye. There we go. And then maybe that goes up there? No. So, um, I do love scuba diving. I, w uh, I have done it and would like to do it again. I am terrified of the ocean. It's the only thing that triumphs my fear of heights is my fear of the ocean. I'm terrified. <laughs> it's uh, it's not too debilitating. That's a lie. It's it's pretty debilitating. I remember one time I did um rafting and I cried. <laughs> never again. Never 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 again. The heck are you? The heck are you? What are you? I actually don't know what that piece is. Hmm. Understandable, that thing is deep. Yep. Uh, the ocean is terribly vast. I'll keep my hills and hot. Exactly, exactly. So it was nice to just not, uh, you know, go there and kind of just keep my distance uh, and just watch from afar from the safety of the boat. It was nice. I'll say that. Um. So scuba diving happened, we ended up going back to the island, not the island, the, 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 the coast, back home. It was nice. Uh, we made friends with one of the guys, he, we were absolutely vibing, they offered us some really good food. I had fun, I had fun there, ish. <laughs> it, was, it was okay. I didn't like the beach, I was kind of roasting. Everyone fell asleep, because <laughs> we didn't have to get up at like 7am or something really silly. Not a fan of waking up at seven on vacation. Um, but what else did happen? So there was, he gave us this offer. He was like, hey, would you ever like to do safari and dolphins and all that? And I was like, oh boy. <laughs> My family was like, sure, let's do it. Um, so I ended up joining them for some fun times. <laughs> um, yeah, we didn't do dolphins. Dol dolphins was kind of expensive. Oh boy, we have the main image done. <laughs> you know what? Uh, <laughs> challenge time. If you want to actually try to fill it out, it's fine if you don't want to. <laughs> If we don't finish it by the end of the stream, that's fine. I'll still post the finished stuff. Now the hard part of the puzzle starts. Yeah, I was I was like, maybe I should have cropped it or something. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm good. Okay, fine. Okay, okay. I won't stop you. <laughs> I want to see. Can you do this? Can you, can you do the worst bit? Thank you for the hydrate, May. And thank you for the down girl. Thank you for the stretch and the hygiene. Thank you, I appreciate you. You, if only if we sort by uh, which is shapes, we'll just don't move the entire puzzle. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing you can do. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh god, I'm sweating now. It's not even that hot. Um. So, a few days later, we went to do the desert safari. 
which was made up, this day was very, very busy. There was a lot that we were able to do here. Um, so starting off, they picked us up and they took us to this place. Um, I don't know how else to describe it other than like, it was outdoorsy-ish uh, and we are just vibing. Also, hi rules, hello, hello. Uh, we were all just kind of vibing, having a, f uh, a sweating. It was really, really hot. It was like the hottest day. So it was 40 degrees, but because of the humidity, it felt like 43. So. Needless to say, it was very, very dangerous heat to be in. Okay, I almost had to work, have a good stream, and have a uh, and good luck on the puzzle. Thank you, Jazz, for popping in. I appreciate you, and you, good luck at work. Uh, I'm at work, but I'm so eepy. Can I use you as a pillow? You're so squeezable. Okay, fine, fine. Mm, I'll allow it. So. Safari happened, we were waiting around for our turn. It was made up of, uh, we got the breakdown of what was gonna happen. So we were gonna get to do quad bikes. We were gonna get to go on spy, what was it called? It was like spider carts or something like that. Spider buggies, spider buggies. Um, and then um, we were gonna get taken, uh, we were gonna go to the mountains. Those were the three things that we were gonna do. So we went on the quad bikes. The quad bikes were interesting, uh, and by which I mean dangerous, deadly, but not for the reasons that you'd think. Um, so the quad bikes, um, the quad bikes were dangerous because we were out in the heat, and the uh, they, the the bikes themselves were very 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 hot <laughs> they were like really really hot um so you could burn yourself and i was wearing very like open uh pants where you know they were very like loose on the ends so i had to like put my leg like really wide apart so that they didn't get caught in the internals or anything um and alongside that, I got given a bit of a dodgy, dodgy bike where um, if I didn't press on the accelerator um, constantly, the bike would shut off. So, uh, a tee -hee. Um, That was fun. Uh, not really. It was not fun. <laughs> but um, I, I got quad biking down pretty easily it was pretty fun to control it was insanely bumpy i had fun it was it was chaotic and then uh we 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 were, we were quad biking we got to a halfway point uh had a bit of a hydration but then um someone comes up to us and asks hey do you have some water for my mother because one of the ladies uh, who was there with us in our group, uh, she wasn't like part of the family or anything. She was getting heat stroke. She looked like she was about to collapse and the heat was getting to her. So that wasn't good. Um, she had to be taken back immediately so that she could lie down, get some water and like fix herself up. <laughs> the rest of us uh, continued on. Um, they switched out uh, Mama Moon's bike, and uh, hers ended up continuously breaking down. She got stranded in the middle of the desert until she could flag down someone to help her out. To which by the time we finally got back to the starting point, um, she also got heat stroke. She had to sit down. Uh, we had to like basically pour cold, the cold water that they gave us, we had to pour that on her, get her, you know, cold towels and everything, get the fan. Uh, they gave us some menus, we used that to like fan her. It was really bad, it was really dangerous, she felt sick. And I was like, oh, so this is what heat stroke is. Yeah, not good, not good at all. Uh, and, uh huh. 
luckily it was only those two casualties, but that was like major injury number I don't know uh, of the trip. Uh, <laughs> um, and then after that we went on the spider buggy, she recovered, we were stuck waiting for like the longest time because some massive school joined up, we were stuck waiting for a long time. Um, they ended up uh, being the reason that we got booted off and out. Uh, like they were basically rushing us, it was not fun. Um, we went on the spider buggies, it was really short, we were meant to go on there for about 20 minutes, They were, we were there for 10. Uh, and then they rushed us onto the bus, um, and we were sent off to the mountains to wish- This felt really sketchy, I cannot lie. The mountains, we were there. Um, we were- we were- we were there, and we were taken around to all of these huts. One of them had this woman and her son, they were making, um, uh, they were making flatbread. Um, and they were, you know, there was like her son who was just there looking up at us very, very sad. Um, as he like grinds down like the dough to make the dough and whatever to like mix everything up and I, I couldn't really understand what he was doing and then the dough would go to his mother and then they would make the bread and then all that bread would be giving it, given out to everyone uh, to try. It was... it really did not feel right, I cannot lie. I, I felt really uncomfortable by it. <laughs> I didn't like it. Oh, <gasps> lots of! Thank you for the raid! Welcome in raiders! What? <laughs> Uh, Kuro, thank you, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the Dragon's Cave. How you doing? Quack, the pond hub has arrived. Ducklings are here for some bread. Welcome. Sleep deprived Matt. Thank you also for the follow. What were you doing? You were doing... <gasps> you were doing art. Oh, and Oz of Clips. Thank you for the follow. Welcome into the Dragon's Cave. If you were doing some art, feel free to share. Uh, but also, how's your stream? Today, uh, over here, we are currently recapping what I was doing on vacation and we came to the point at which we're, <laughs> we're talking about the very questionable part of my vacation. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, how was it? Welcome in. <laughs> if you do need to go ahead and rest up or anything, feel free to do so. Hi. <laughs> yeah. You're lagging? No worries, it's fine. I understand that, you know, we... There are some technical issues at times. <laughs> How's the chatting going? It's going great. We're currently also puzzling, uh, going over a commission that I received while I was on vacation. Um, if you would like to share some art, feel free to post it in the chat. You will not get bonked or anything. I am very interested to see what you were working on. Yay, exploitation! <laughs> yep. <laughs> was, I was definitely uncomfortable. Yeah, this is not what I normally look like. Um, this is how I normally look like. Also, hi, I didn't properly introduce myself. Hi, I'm Luna, I am a Moon Dragon VTuber. Um, I'm a Moon Dragon VTuber, and uh, I'm also an artist, live 2D rigger, and variety streamer. <laughs> this is how I normally look. <laughs> Pretty model, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> cool tail, thank you. I drew and rigged this model all by myself. So this is this is what we got going. <laughs> My tail. Yeah. There's uh there's a there's a lot to this model, including the thighs. Thighs <laughs> <laughs> bring back the weedle blueberry. No, because sometimes people have to know that this is how I actually look. <laughs> Listen, I put a lot of time and effort into this model. I have to show it off sometimes. <laughs> um uh, ah. Yeah, we also have to show off that. <laughs> so, the... Yeah, we got bald. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were talking about the village that I was kind of uh, in. Um, so once we moved over, we moved over to the camels, the camels, right? Everything seemed fine. Yeah, I am orbed. I am orbed. The camels... <laughs> We're fine. Uh, lots of thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Also, I don't know if you got a slash shout out. Uh, let me do that. Uh, there we go. 
everyone, please check out lots of please and thank you. <laughs> also, I love your profile picture. <laughs> that was great. Um, so we got to go on some uh, camels, right? I thought I was gonna die, not gonna lie. There was camel poop everywhere. I thought I was going to die because the saddle that I was sat on, um, oh. The, the saddle that I was sat on was a bit slanted and I thought, oh no, I'm going to fall off. Uh, this is where I die. Um, it's either I die uh, oh, no, not that. It's either I fall off and break my leg, or I land in camel poop, and I would rather break my leg. <laughs> please, please. I feel like most of these stories are, I did activity and I thought I was gonna die. You see what I mean where Dio was my demons? This is what I mean. I was fighting Dio, and this was Dio. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised there weren't any worse injuries like a broken bone because we actually did almost have a broken bone. So, you know, camels happened and when I got to the end, um, I was actually slightly terrified because this lady, she was very nice to her camel, or so I thought. Um, to try and get the camel down, she started hissing at it and beating it with a stick. She was hitting the camel, trying to drag it down, and hissing at it to try get it to put me down. And I, I, I was terrified. I have been on camels before, they have never done that. And for the other people who were like on the camels, they were not doing that. But for the camel that I was on, of course I was on the one that was not listening, and it would not put me down, and it was like a solid 30 seconds of her trying to pull on the camel and hitting it to put me down, and I was terrified. My goodness, I actually thought I was gonna die. <laughs> this camel's gonna throw me off. I thought I was gonna get thrown off by the camel, but no, luckily we were fine, we survived. Oh. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> so that happened. We got taken back to, um, we got to try some tea actually. I didn't try the tea. Um, I, I was kind of traumatized. Uh oh. No, no, there we go. <laughs> um, I was, I was a little bit traumatized by that. So then we ended up going, uh, <laughs> We ended up going back to, you know, where all our stuff was, back to the, the home base, we'll say. They gave us some food. The food was actually pretty okay. <laughs> nah, the tea was not gonna kill me. Uh, I don't like bitter tea, though. And I don't, I'm not, mm, I didn't try it. Um, oh, right, the part where I thought that something else was gonna happen. Uh, not really death, maybe a little car accident. So, on the way back, the guy was taking us across the, the sand dunes to try and get us back. And, uh, and if you've ever been on like these desert safaris, they take you up on these sand dunes and then you start feeling like you're going vertically down. Um, <laughs> Another point at which I thought I was going to die is the drive back, the sand dunes. I've never been to a desert myself, it is hot. It is painful. It is. Oh. <laughs> um, I. It was. It was. It was. Oh. Like we went like over one or two sand dunes, and the entire family was like freaking out when it happened. And the guy just the guy driving us had this big grin on his face at hearing our reactions. <laughs> Where'd you go? If you don't mind me asking, I went to Hagada in Egypt. Uh, it was. It was great. Minus the many things that did kind of go wrong. <laughs> it was great. Um, so we kind of went here and around. We went back. We had food. We went back to the hotel. And all was fine. We had our little adventure. It was great. So after that, it was kind of just idling in the hotel. Me working on commissions that people were really generous enough to, you know, really want. I'm, again, thank you so much, everyone. You're all so cool. I need to... I need to assign roles to everyone who did commission me because I did make a promise that everyone who commissions me does get VIP so I'll do that um I want you have VIP <laughs> you have I can't give it you twice <laughs> um so 
that happened, the vacation, there was a lot that happened, it was mostly us vibing in the hotel, and then comes the day that we leave. The day that we leave, I'm like, no, it's not over. Something is gonna go wrong. Something is going to go wrong. <laughs> you want VIP, you gotta commission me. <laughs> Or be someone very, very, very awesome. Or be someone who's worked on something on the channel. That too. Um, so the final day. We start leaving. We make our way out of the hotel. We go to the airport. We start flying home. Airport security in Hagada is incredibly strict. We went through security when we entered the airport, we went to check in everything, we checked our boarding passes and everything, and then we had to go through security again, to which they binned our aerosols. <laughs> I've worked on the puzzle for the last hour and a half! You can do this, Nana, I believe in you. <laughs> we, we went there, um, we went there, they binned our aerosols, they pulled aside some of my family to make them do like a 360 x-ray. That was really interesting. What? <gasps> Nephi! Nephi! Hello! How you doing? It's good to see you! Hope you're doing well. I'll take a chance with the snack contraband this time. <laughs> Real. Yeah, they, um, they yoinked my sister's bacterial spray, which kind of sucked because they kind of needed that for, um, you know, when I want to sanitize myself when I'm doing my injection. By this point, it's about, like, 1, 2 a.m. I'm tired. <gasps> Meow! Hello! Thank you for embracing the moonlight. Welcome in, yeah. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. <laughs> But by this time, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I want to sleep, so is the rest of the family. Everyone else is really, really tired, they're done. <laughs> they're either done or they're like, I don't want to leave. How much of the vacation recap has been complaining about it being a mess? Um, a solid 70%, honestly. <laughs> There's a lot of, this went wrong or I nearly died. <laughs> There was so much that went wrong, it's honestly kind of insane, but it gets worse, okay? So we get there, we, um, we, we, you know, we're through security, we're sad, we've been to, we've been through a duty free, we're sad. Did anything go right besides the cat that sat on your foot? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I was like very half asleep throughout this entire trip. Like, from the heat stroke to, oh right, one of my cousins nearly broke her foot on the slide. Um, she was limping for like the last few days of the trip. It was fun. <laughs> um, I got attacked by a VR headset. That, that was also two things that I missed out on mentioning. But also, I'm running out of time, so I need to start hurrying it up. Um, so we're at the hotel, we get on our flight, oh wait, before that I had to do my injection, you know, the blood thinners and all that, I did that, everything seemed to go fine, there was no blood that came out, which normally does happen when I do the injection, normally a little bit of blood comes out. No blood, which is very good because I was wearing a white shirt, stupidly enough. Um, and then, but gravity was very, very painful because, you know, I get stabbed in the stomach, of course it's gonna hurt, right? Uh, I look at the the area like 24 hours later. I it looks like I got punched and something broke. <laughs> Rexy, thank you for embracing the moonlight. Welcome in. <laughs> yeah, it it looks like I got stabbed and then it healed, but there's still like the bruise from the stab left over. It it looks pretty nasty. <laughs> but um, yeah, back to the flight. You know, we're kind of it was 10 pounds for Burger King. We got a kid's meal instead. <laughs> we got the five pound kid's meal instead. <laughs> um, so we're making our way over back to, um, we, there, 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 there. Um, we're on the plane. It's a bit slow. We get up there. Two hours, I had an empty seat next to me. I, it was me, empty seat, my uncle. So I slept amazingly. It was great. I, I felt amazing. 
And then we then, uh, so that leg of the flight was fine. We land in Istanbul once again, and I'm, we, we, we get a bit of shut eye while we're waiting for our next flight. And then we get on the final flight. The final flight was hell, okay? So sat in front of me, there was a child, okay? This, it had to be a toddler, it had to be a toddler. This toddler's way of communicating was screams. He was very, very restless. He screamed constantly. He threw everything around him around, and I was just suffering. I was, there was, there was an old man sat behind me, and he kept digging his knees into the back of my seat. I could feel him digging his knees into the back of my seat. So, screaming baby in the front, old man in the back. There was a baby also sat behind, but the baby was very, very calm, and I'm very grateful for that. That baby was amazing. <laughs> But the toddler, um, apparently the toddler was attacking me in my sleep and that's why I felt something hit my head. Um, and it wasn't me just fall, my, my head falling forward and hitting the seat in front of me. No, that was me getting attacked by the toddler and his uh, stuffed toy landing in front of me. Um, that toddler was an actual nightmare. He was screaming so much very yeah the parents weren't even stopping him which made it even worse the parents weren't stopping him he wasn't even strapped in for takeoff he was like stood up for takeoff it was insane um landing as well he was stood up and to top it off at the very end of the flight i catch this little brat trying to reach into my purse I don't hate- I- it, it was there where I learned the whole you don't hate babies, you hate- uh, you don't hate babies and kids, you hate the kids who- you, you hate the parents who are not doing anything, and the parents were not doing anything. <laughs> it was very, very unpleasant on the final- and it was a four hour trip, like it was the worst of it, right? It was four hours. Spoiled, spoiled babies are the worst future. The thing is, yeah, they kept giving this kid the phone and he would watch it for a bit and then he would go back to causing chaos. And I know everyone hated this kid because this, like, it wasn't even like, you know, baby scream. It was like murder scream, if that makes sense. I hated it so much. Ugh. But eventually, we get off the plane, we get through passport control, it's the UK border, so it's very, very nice. We just scan our passport, it scans our face, and we step through. Then we go to the luggage carousel and get our suitcases. So we thought. <laughs> or so we thought. Um, so we're sat there, waiting for our luggage, and then we, we get one suitcase, we get another suitcase, we get another suitcase, we get all except one and we're waiting and the next flight suitcase of suitcases arrive and we're still waiting and we start checking our suitcases um and a lot of the luggage tags have been ripped off so we start having to do this play the uh, we have to start doing this guessing game of where does this luggage tag belong to which suitcase does this belong to before we can start going to um, baggage reclaim and telling them, hey, one of our suitcases has not arrived. I was afraid it would be the one with my stuff with the switch charger and DS charger because the, the worst case scenario that someone had in fact stolen our suitcases. Uh, we got lucky that actually not the case. No one stole it. We did get the suitcase the very next day, but it was very unpleasant that, you know, um, we almost didn't get our suitcase and it got lost in the first place and they had tossed around the luggage tags ripped them off they were barely legible but luckily the workers were really really nice and helped us out and yeah it was it was great uh also um so on the final leg of the journey i also almost forgot to mention uh i got my period right as we were taking off that was in horrible pain but i was prepared minus having painkillers 
it was, it was, yeah. I was in a lot of pain. <laughs> but it's fine, I survived. I, I made it. <laughs> so then we make our way home and we get the final um, injury, mi not injury, mishap of the trip, which was Mama Moon Shoe. <laughs> Mama Moon Shu at the very end broke. This truly was a vacation of all time. <laughs> oh god. It was. This trip didn't cut you a single break. It did not. This one, it pulled no punches. It did not want to give us a break. It did not want us to know the meaning of peace. But we came out of it bruised and battered, but alive. We survived, okay? <laughs> and now I finally get to be back with all of you. I'm so happy. VTuber news today, Celestial Dragon, uh, VTuber Lude Moon is being held in custody after throwing a toddler off a plane morning at 11. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the headline you're gonna see. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what you're gonna hear Penumbral talking about, uh, uh, at the end of the week, surely. <laughs> but, we are free. I am free. All is well. And I survived. And now, we finally get to, you know, vibe, have a fun old time. And streams are going to be returning back to normal. While my vacation was in full vacation because of how much went wrong and the fact that I did still continue working throughout it because I, my, my, I need to still make money because this was kind of unprepared. I'm glad that people still came back at the end of it to hey drop in say hi welcome back from your vacation luna it really does mean the world that you all you all came around i appreciate it thank you i love you all to bits <laughs> i really appreciate it thank you so with that yap out of the way the puzzle is in hell i'll give it a few more hours if people do genuinely want to give it a shot at this and I'll post the artwork uh, I'll post it tomorrow how about that I'll post the artwork tomorrow <laughs> I'll give you guys 24 hours to try and if not <laughs> you can <laughs> I'll post it okay <laughs> I'll have this open I'll keep this open you guys can have fun <laughs> but with that I haven't had food yet because of your damn puzzle. <laughs> well, you're not want to gonna you're not gonna wanna have uh, go to have food uh, when you see who we're gonna be raiding today. You're gonna you're gonna be very happy. But yes, today we chatted a lot. We yapped a lot. Actually, no. Why? Hmm. Do I need to end right now? I could yap a little bit more. I Why did I think it was 9 p.m. already? Not 9, 7 p.m. Today and Luna does not know how to tell the time. I can yap a lot more. Keep yapping? I will keep yapping. There's a lot I can still keep yapping about. Um, but yes, I was going to raid Jemmy. <laughs> we can keep the puzzle going. We can keep this train uh, going. Um... So, a lot of stuff, uh, let me actually go through the Discord as well, because there was a lot of stuff that happened there, um, uh, that I did talk about there and nowhere else. <gasps> right, Rain did his little, um, fundraiser. Well, not fundraiser, like, little, we'll call it a donathon, because it's the only way we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> little mini donathon that Rain did to help get the funds for Clip Studio Paint uh, EX so that he can start doing animated emotes and now we're gonna get the boy classic emote I'm excited for that as well as some more emotes that I told him yeah yeah give me that sure we'll go with that <laughs> and thank you everyone who supported him we hit the goal in about 15 minutes 
<laughs> also, I feel like I spent longer writing up the message than it took. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Please. Please check out Rain. There we go. Please check out Rain. He does amazing work. His work on the- you, you guys use, you know, all his emotes all the time. Please show him some love. He's amazing. <laughs> Oh right, my tan, my hideous tan. So, um, while I was there, I tried my best to stay out of the sun as best as I could. Apart from one occasion where I, two occasions actually, where I had to, so there was one occasion where I went out on, uh, during the desert safari. Um, so because we stayed at, you know, a resort and it's very, very open, they don't want people sneaking onto the property. What they do is they have you, you know, wearing wristbands. They can see, like, also your age because they have different ones based on your age. Um, so they they had that, and my wristband it gets stuck on like my upper arm as it should, and I also wore my watch. So when we did the desert safari, my watch and my wristband gave me a tan line. So, if I were to do a hand cam stream, you would be able to see a clear line where I have a tan line um, from both of- from at least my wristband. I wear my watch all the time, so you would not see the, 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 the thing from that. <laughs> I would be safe. I would be fine. Um, but then it kind of gets worse, okay? Because, so, because, you know, I was staying in in the afternoons, that's normally when housekeeping comes around and they come by and clean up the room. So what I would do was I would go over to the balcony and chill there. Well, one of the days, it was 40 degrees. Um, it was 40 degrees. It was a little bit humid here and there. So of course, I was gonna start sweating. <laughs> and I was gonna start sweating. And uh, it was also really, really hot. I was wearing some flip-flops, not flip-flops, I was wearing some sliders. Uh, and because of that, in the 15 minutes that I spent outside, I got a tan on my feet. Um, but there is a pale line from where my sliders were. And I just kind of looked at my feet and I went, Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Off topic, but row fires uh, maybe though tomorrow. Yes, I'm excited for that. Oh, I love Grand Blue so much. I did. I played Grand Blue as best as I could while there. Um, my ping was technically better, but the internet there is so bad. Uh. <laughs> The internet was so bad, I kinda almost didn't play it. Um, I, I did my best. I did my best because otherwise I knew that SF would make fun of me. <laughs> it's it's what fuels me 90% of the time is I don't want SF to make fun of me and so I will do this thing. <laughs> I'll find a way not on my watch. <laughs> Oh man. So I did my best to play Grand Blue as best as I could. Basically, I couldn't join raids because by the time I joined, they would be dead. Um, because it took like a solid five seconds for the summon menu to load, and then another 10 to 15 seconds to actually load into the raid, and then skills would take about five seconds each. So it was really miserable to play the game. As a make fun of Luna for not making me VIP, please. I'm sorry, uh, Kirk. You either have to come top of a subathon or, uh, pay me. <laughs> Good thing Proskip exists. Yeah, but the thing is, pros the, the Proskip was also absolutely miserable because even still, that loading was actually awful. It was. Oh, oh. <laughs> I never want to do- I never want to deal with that again. Even Turkey was better, okay? I've been to Turkey, the place where there was regular power outages, and it was better. 
when you're doing a good job of being a responsible streamer for not letting everyone become VIP. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so, um... What was I talking about? Right, my ugly tan and grand blue happened, and then... Um... Oh! While I was there, we got this really, really pretty glass bottle that is used for, um, oud. So basically, it's a glass bottle, and, um, and, and it has this, uh, like, glass feather-shaped lid, and, um, it's beautiful. I really want to put my perfume in it. But currently, I have it on my desk for decorative uh, purposes. Next time I do a hand cam stream, I will show it off. And I should probably move it somewhere that if I knock my desk too hard, it will not fall off. Because looking up at it, um, makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but that kind of hurts. I'm sorry, Kirk. He's also messing. Don't worry. <laughs> He's also messing. Don't worry. Okay. Um... Hmm, I'm trying to think, what else? I, I did tweet about some of the chaotic st stuff that did uh, happen as well. Let me, let me check on my Twitter. Oh god, I I have like a, a boatload of tabs open because I I requested Skeb and I had like, um, multiple, um, like things sent out. Uh, multiple things that I needed to look up. I think it's like eight, nine references for it. So that was fun. That was. <laughs> um. Oh right. Uh, Mario. Who's excited for the new Mario Party? <laughs> who's Who's excited for the new Mario Party? Because uh, oh boy, I am. <laughs> they are adding star hexes. And also, also, there is, uh, hold on, let me hide this a sec just in case, you, uh, you, and, uh, you, so there's nothing doxy, yeah, there we go, this artwork, is basically my soft reveal that the new model <laughs> has cat ears funded by my lovely VTuber daughter, Mari Gato. <laughs> Listen! As if I wasn't gonna have them on originally, but Mari was like, I will pay your artist. I will pay your artist, and I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> Sell out. <laughs> Listen. Free cat is, I suppose. Hi, Jens. <laughs> I can't say no to Mari. I can't say no to her. Can you- can you say no to that face? I sure can't, okay? I can't say no to her. <laughs> it's lovely to see you, Jens. Um... Yeah, let me... Comedial. Okay, so I... <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I did like um, you know, a bunch of uh, sketch doodles, and honestly, it it turned out really, really well. I'm I'm kind of happy with how it all turned out. There's a little work in progress. This was originally going to be for a cover, and then I scrapped it um, because I didn't like it anymore. I I think I have like four or five drawings. That I I one of which I actually fully completed, and then I scrapped it. <laughs> I might post that, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna post it because I don't... I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna use this. I might as well post it. I've been sat on it for ages. Um, 
Yeah, I'm very, very happy with you know all the all the uh, work I did, and I'm kind of surprised that they all turned out really, really well. Also, this is what you were robbed of for the people who voted French. Uh, this is what you were robbed of. <laughs> um. If people had chosen Bunny Girl on the on the on the poll, you were gonna get you know a fully colored version of this with thigh squish uh, along the fishnets. We weren't robbed. And no, uh, there's some people who disagree. However, though, however, <laughs> if um, because you know we're gonna have, or rather, we have Subte September happening. How dare you, Nano? How dare you? I vote for Super Mario. That's gonna be something that's gonna be in the works. Don't worry. No worry. Super Mario, uh, there's an artist who I've been waiting for who has opened up their request. I'm probably gonna reach out to them uh, eventually. We've got French instead, which is way better. <laughs> French is a stain on my law right now. I my law has been I have I have been working up to this image of, you know, dragon who grants the wishes of people who really, really love Xeoblade, you know? I built up this image, and then I, one silly little poll has torn that down. I never voted French, I know, Kieran, and I respect you for that. <laughs> but for the people who did want Bunny Girl, Bunny Girl has a chance to get fully drawn and rendered and completed. It will be a September thing. I will have it going, like from when the from when the bits start. Uh, Cause if people are gonna gift subs, I want them to take advantage. Uh, if people are gonna gift subs and bits, I want them to take advantage of the bonus that Twitch is putting out. So I'm not gonna put out any goals, and even then it will be very very minor. Uh, I will not put out any goals until the bit stuff starts coming out. What about the, the people, me, who wanted maid outfit? Maid is honestly gonna happen at some point. I need to redraw the maid outfit <laughs> at some point. Um, I have a maid Luna Chibi that I've been working on and I still have been like super R blocked with it to be able to work on it. And also I'm really, really overwhelmed with, with stuff that I need to work on right now. Um, <laughs> But it, yeah, it's it's kind of insane how much French stuff I get tagged in now because of the French meme. <laughs> it was it was kind of funny. I was I was, um I was uh, chatting with a couple uh, cool peeps, and if you guys know Lyria, right? You know you know Lyria. Lyria, uh, really cool, uh, cool looking uh, idol dragon. She's awesome. She thought I spoke French. <laughs> Because of you guys, you guys made it. You guys actually gaslit someone into thinking I'm French. I hope you're proud of yourselves for that one. <laughs> it was no gaslit, it was. But you are. I don't. I can't remember the French that I learned. I mean, come on. How could you do this to me? What's a puzzle doing? Hmm. Oh, oopsie, didn't mean to do that, sorry. What was it? Oh, that's how it's right click. We gaslit people into thinking Cress was a capybara until he became one, so sorry. You will be French. Okay, fine. <laughs> I will just continue to deny it the best I can. <laughs> Move it that way. There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> is there a way to? There is a way to lock the pieces. I just don't remember how. Um, room settings. Uh, user settings. Hmm. I do not- oh, help. Um, use that 
let's delete clear chat log. Control key to lock or unlock pieces in place. Oh. There we go. Okay, that will not move now. Okay, you guys are free to... There we go. <laughs> it will not move. You guys are free to not accidentally drag it around now. So. <laughs> have you seen the latest episode of the VTuber Brand Night? No, I have not been able to watch anything. Um, so basically, timeline of when I got back, um, I arrived home on Saturday at about 5 p.m. Um, I showered and everything, had some dinner, and only then after did I hop on my PC. Um, VTuber anime, yeah, VTuber Legends is what it's called. It's, it's uh, how I went viral after forgetting to turn off my stream. Something like that. Um, it's a really good anime. <laughs> I highly recommend it. <clears throat> um, I haven't been able to watch anything because yeah, after that I fell asleep. Um, yesterday I was hard at work. Um, probably should not have been because I felt absolutely wiped. Had D and D made just the showcase. I. I really need to take an actual vacation one day. <laughs> and that's probably why I actually felt really, really sick today. Um, is because I did not rest properly. But I'm sure it's fine. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> um, what else? Um, mm, so yeah, I had even even today I did not have like a proper thumbnail ready. Uh, it was literally just the thing that I just showed off. What else was there here? Oh. <laughs> I'm still so proud of this, even though it's just the War Thunder meme propped and then throwing my stuff in there. I'm still so proud of it. <laughs> That's, that's amazing. Love that. <laughs> but, um, I feel like there's so much more that I want to talk about. Right, it felt amazing to finally also get my bed back because, so for the vacation, I had to share a bed with my sister and I kick in my sleep. She rolls in her sleep. It's very unpleasant. <laughs> Not fun, not fun at all, not fun at all. God, never again. <laughs> I died a little inside. So when I got my bed back, I crashed. Like, I honkshu me 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 straight away. It was amazing. I loved it. And I'm just, oh, I need to turn the fan on. It's warm. Bear with me. It's so warm. Okay, nice. Ah. <sighs> Hmm, I feel like there's like, um, isn't the War Thunder, uh, War Thunder classified government document leak, isn't that the War Thunder classified government document leak me? Yeah, that's where I got it from. I've now given up on the puddle. Good luck, fellas. That is honestly fair. I'm amazed you got this far. I'm amazed you went and did your best to get this far. <laughs> You did good, soldier. You did good. <laughs> ah, my ears, my ears, my ears. Okay. Ah, yeah, vacation was fun. Uh, despite the fact that everything went wrong at every single turn, <laughs> uh, I I did my best to make things work, and I came out on the other side alive. Shockingly enough. Oh, music is a tad loud. Um. There we go. Is that better? It's probably- it probably does not help that I'm talking a little bit quieter than normal. <laughs> Congrats on being alive? Yeah. I'm- thank you. I'm surprised. <laughs> I, I- I'm hoping that next time we go on a vacation there's less casualties. 
<laughs> that would be nice. Maybe less delayed flies, though that's kind of inevitable. Um, maybe next time we actually take the luggage belt so that we can actually identify which suitcase is ours, because that was also another thing that we did not do. <laughs> oh, how many? Oh. Hmm. Let me, let me, let me bring these down here so we can actually see. Hmm. This is, uh... Oh, they're grouped by the piece type. Oh, whoever did that is amazing. Whoever did that is a genius. Hmm. Huh. Very, very smart. Very clever. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, you know what? Might as well... Um, you guys have made it this far. I might as well show you who the artist was. Um, because I, I don't think they've posted it. Yeah, this piece, I... I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, it's... The artist is amazing. Their stuff is amazing. Where is it? My request, there it is. I'm so happy with how it turned out. The style is beautiful. I don't know if they did post the full thing. Did they? Let me check. Portfolio. I don't know if they did. Portfolio. Oh, they didn't. Well. Let me share with you who it is. Udo. I commissioned them a while back and they finally got back to me during vacation, which was very, very unfortunate because I could not properly, um, like, respond to them in a timely manner. I was able to respond to them. And um, yeah, the end result is amazing. <laughs> and you can, you can't, you can, you can, you can, you can see it. I, God, this, the style's so soft and beautiful and I love it. I love it so much. Okay. I think now though, I've kind of run out of things to talk about other than the fact that Mario Party Jamboree has announced Star Hexes and I'm excited and I want people to play that with when it comes out. God, I'm excited. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> my throat, my throat is messed. If you would like to continue working on this, feel free to do so. I won't post the full thing until tomorrow, out of respect for the dedicated lot, because I know some of you really do want to challenge yourselves to this. And I understand that. <laughs> but for me, I'm all yapped out. I'm still not fully recovered, I guess. I'm still very, very tired. <laughs> I cannot lie, um, not gonna lie, I did kind of almost feel like I was gonna throw up before, uh, stream. I <laughs> but I didn't! I didn't fruit up! I didn't fruit up! I'm fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff that's been cooking in the background. Um, and hopefully soon I will get to show you all, because... God, it's hard to hide it all. <laughs> Thank you for the head pats. But I think with that, that's a good time to stop off. Uh, I finally have the time right. It is actually 6.30. Um, I was thinking before, man, has it already been three hours? Have I actually yapped for three hours? No, Luna, you did not yap for three hours. It had only been two. <laughs> but... Hey, I'll be getting back into the flow of things. 2.5. Perfect. Oh, my neck hurts. Ah. <laughs> I'll be getting back into the flow of things. Good thing I didn't do a full three hour stream right off the bat. I, whoa. I would definitely be like absolutely wiped if I did that. But yeah, good on me. I did not do that. So, what do we have on the schedule this week? I'm glad you'd asked. We... This week is going to be fun. I have an extra stream day because I missed you all so much and I really, really want to stream more this week. So, starting tomorrow, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, 
because of course <laughs> I played a little bit on the plane. Uh, I did a little bit of farming and I'm excited to continue on with the story. Wednesday, Sonic Frontiers. God, I love the game and also I watched the Sonic movie and I'm currently watching the second movie. The Sonic Brain Rot is coming back to me. Play Torn, you can I'll play Torn at the end, I promise, Kiara, I promise. I promise you this. Cross my heart. Cross my heart. Again, I will play it. Don't worry. There's no way I don't play Torna. Because if chat's gonna see me ball once, they're gonna see me ball my eyes out more. Okay? <laughs> so Wednesday, Sonic Frontiers. Thursday, more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I this game is big. I want to get through it all. Saturday is Hollow Knight. Maybe. Uh, it's also Guild Wars and Grand Blue, so I don't know how things are gonna work out. Maybe I have to cancel Hollow Knight for, and make it Guild Wars because the farming is really bad this time around. Um, uh, a tee -hee. Actually, wait, no, no, this will be fine. This is, I have this under control. <gasps> I don't have to cancel Hollow Knight, we're fine. And then Sunday. I know you guys missed this. I don't know if I missed this. Where you guys did. We will be playing Super Mario 64 with crowd control. I don't know why I did this to myself, but we're gonna be playing it again. <laughs> I have adjusted the prices so that you can't just one hit kill me for like 50 coins or so. Play the play with one hand. Uh, play one game with one hand and Guild Wars with the other. I might act. Mm, the thing is, I don't think I can do that because one requires the good reaction timing, and I can't do that when Guild Wars is playing on the other screen next to me. <laughs> I can't do it. I wish I could. I can't though. I'm sadly not that big of a gamer, and all uh, that that good of a gamer, rather. I'm not that good of a gamer. Ah, <sighs> I give up. I hate a puzzle. <laughs> You did good, Nano. You did good. Everyone who managed to get this far, you did good. You know what? I'm gonna... Um... Let me do this. Let me... Ash pull. There we go. Reveal the artwork fully. Oh. Post the artwork Yeah. Nah. Start ball. There you go. But let your voice be heard. Vote now. Do you want the artwork or do you want to suffer? <laughs> I can understand if you would like it posted now because honestly, yeah, this is a lot of void. I probably should have cropped it. But I didn't because I'm not smart. <laughs> He's fine though. He's fine. Wow, you guys are very. Hmm. Huh. Don't tie the pole, please. Don't tie the pole. Do not tie the pole. I beg of you, do not tie the pole. Chat. Chat, do not tie. Don't tie the the pole. I'm begging you, please don't. No, no. I wish for the pole to end in a tie. <laughs> Okay, it's, I guess it's my decision then. I will post it. I will post the artwork. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you do this to me for you? <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Oh, I've missed you all. I've missed you all. <laughs> I thank you all for joining me. This was so much fun. Thank you for listening to me yap. I didn't think I'd be able to yap for this long, but I did. <laughs> Thank you. 
I appreciate you. And thank you also for such the warm, such a warm welcome back. Thank you lots of again for the raid. I appreciate you and everyone who joined in. Please, please, please check them out if you have not already. Uh, there we go. <laughs> the app is why we're here. Yippee! <laughs> um. Yeah, I think with that, that's a good point to end off. So, post the artwork in a bit, and I'll see you guys then. Uh. <laughs> Let's start ending then, and I know exactly who it is we're gonna raid, so long as they are not ending. They do not seem to be. Okay, thank goodness. Thank you, everyone who came by for today's stream. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it as always. If you don't know me already, I stream every day except Tuesdays and Fridays, so drop a follow if you don't want to miss that. Today, we will be raiding someone who is playing... A, a, a very a game belonging to a very beloved series of mine. You guessed it, Xenoblade Chronicles One. We'll be raiding Jemmy Roka. They are playing Xenoblade Chronicles One. It is their first time playing. You guys go. <laughs> so please stick around for the raid. Show them some love in their chat. Drop them a follow and use the raid message, please and thank you. It is always very very appreciated. And it's always very, very appreciated when you do. And with that, I shall be headed off. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Love you all. Have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time it may be. And I will see you um, tomorrow for some Xenoblade. Bye-bye. <laughs>